summer all year round. Cycling to work and the lifestyle, it's a very, very nice place to be. Lack of traffic. Knowing that you'll bump into your colleagues at dinner or at Bunnings. It's the weather, the lifestyle and a sense of can-do. It means I can crack up laughing every morning when I sit there at the front page of the NT News. Um, I guess it's being laid back in the environment. Um, yeah, that's one word for that. <laughs> laid back. <laughs> Except for fantastic weather, you always have to be aware of crocodiles and box jellyfish, which is probably something that I'm not looking forward to. But being a Territorian means also that we're living in the part of Australia which still is quite undeveloped. And for me it means that um, I probably play a small part of developing Northern Australia, which feels amazing. Coping with distance and vastness of the territory. So we've got a large space and not that many people in it. And uh, we've got uh, infrastructure all over the place that needs to be looked at. And to cope with that, we need to be adaptable, flexible, and prepared to go that further mile. So being a Territorian means being out in the environment a lot more than you would do elsewhere in Australia. The first thing I would say would be adapting to the heat and the humidity, but also being able to be adaptable to different working conditions and different jobs is something that I've found up here. Living in a great place with the opportunity to, uh, to work with good people and uh, a good work-life balance. There's diversity of culture and also you get to enjoy the laid-back lifestyle and there's family and work-life balance here. To be a Territorian means an incredible sense of community. I don't think it matters whether you've been in the NT for, for one month or, or 40 years. I think everyone is very warm and friendly and accommodating and makes you feel very much a part of a close-knit community. The nature and the people, the diversity and just accepting everyone uh, from different cultures ability to embrace cultural diversity. I'm really impressed with the way that the country, the community and the culture is integrated within Darwin. I think the greatest thing about being a Territorian is how multicultural the community is. There are so many different cultures and so many different communities and every workplace you go to reflects that. And of course there's no shortage of amazing food on offer as well throughout the year. The reason that I like being a Territorian is that I'm born here, so my friends are here, my family are here. People who come here, maybe it's different for them, but for me, the Territory is home, and that's why I like being a Territorian. Uh, well, I was born in the Territory, and I've been here my whole life, so this is where all my family is. Um, I choose to stay in the Territory because I like the lifestyle, it's laid back. There's the fishing, uh, owning a Hilux and owning a dog, except I don't own a Hilux and I hate fishing, but I do own a dog. Uh, the fact that I can walk out into my back property and just see stars, uh, when I lived in Sydney I never got that. I moved um, to Darwin from the big city Sydney in 1993 and I'm very proud to be a Territorian. Um, Darwin has changed drastically over those 23 years. We have a beautiful weather, dry seasons, uh, a lot of complaints um, about the temperature below 17 degrees in dry season, but um, wet seasons are also beautiful. Uh, sunsets and um, thunder thunderstorms. The opportunities that you get up here to be outdoors and to be adventurous and to show your kids such a raw part of the world that um, living in other metropolitan areas you wouldn't get such close access to. I'm a Territorian because I can take my son Bush on the weekends and he can spend the whole weekend with no shoes on and no shower and swim in the most beautiful water holes in Australia. I, I enjoy the pioneering spirit of, the ter of Territorians and I like the uh, outdoor uh, lifestyle, but 
no matter how long you live in the territory, you can never get used to the build-up or the humidity. I've been around for 43 years now and it's given me the opportunity to, to get the, the triple bottom line for me. Uh, it's always given me personal satisfaction in what I do. Uh, I've been able to do things that uh, benefited clients and benefited GHD as well and we all profit from that. I get to try out a lot of different things so it's a smaller office than what other GHD offices are about but it means that I get to work on a project in environmental engineering and then I get to work on a project in civil and structural all in the same day. Having access to a range of different experts in a multitude of different fields is uh, an excellent way I guess of developing my career. I've, I've really felt that uh, I've grown technically and professionally simply due to the abundance of knowledge that's around the company. Working with GHD provides a, a globally connected community which allows us to uh, better share our skills and provide best project solutions to our clients. Uh, my favourite aspect of working for GHC has been the opportunity to work on a great variety of projects with a team from around Australia and, and even some international work, so it's been very good. I think that the best thing about, or my favourite aspect about GHD is the flexibility and I have literally travelled the country with GHD, um, both on the books and off, and I've seen parts of this country that I can quite confidently say that 99.5% of the population will never get the opportunity to see. I like that I get to go out and field a lot, especially on the helicopters and hang outside. <laughs> Favourite aspect about working for GHD would be the very jobs. One day I could be working on a sewer preliminary design for a remote community, and the next day on a large agriculture project. That's the main thing I like about GHD. Uh, flexible working arrangements and the team here. The best thing about working for GHD has got to be the people. I'm definitely people. Different people. The diverse group of people. Mm, the people, definitely. The variety of people. I value working with people. The people. Definitely the people. Uh, definitely to be in the team and to work with people and the work environment. I have a great team of people around me here in Darwin and that's why I work at GHD. Working with a lot of different people from different cultures, especially here in Australia. Working in a diverse group of people, so yeah, different cultures, different body types of people working with, so yeah, I got a chance to work with them. The fact that everybody has got their individual strengths and skills, that we can pull out people or call on people um, to provide the best team to provide our clients the best service that we can. We need to have a large network of people that we can rely on. We can call for people around, around Australia who are prepared to come to service this great vast territory of ours. And um, generally the, I get good support from the rest of GHD and that's the sort of thing I really enjoy about GHD. One can always resource expertise from other offices. I'm working with lots of strong professional women. You get friendly people here. Um, I found that they've been great since I, I joined. And uh, apart from being hard working, they also enjoy a bit of fun. Um, for me, I've always said that the best thing about a workplace has got to be the people that you work with and that is no different at GHD. The amount of fun that we have, I love telling all my friends about the fun that we get up to uh, and the things that GHD does in the workplace, which no other workplace in Darwin I know do. Even though everyone's really busy all the time trying to get tenders in, they always have time to say good day and have a cup of tea with you. And I think I work with a group of people who they may not be perfect, but they definitely give it all they can to help build the territory. I'm welcome here. I don't feel like anyone looks down on me, and I just feel like a part of the team. I, uh, we work together, we have fun together, 
Um, we also, it's also very good to see the projects uh, evolving from in individual um, investigations, then um, the detailed design, and then seeing through construction and deliver to uh, clients at the end of the day. My favourite aspect about working for GHD is definitely the people. I think over the last 20 years I've been really fortunate to have worked with you know, some really technically competent people, um, people who are great at client service, people who are you know, fantastic at managing other people, um, and to be honest, you know, some really visionary people as well. But I think fundamentally at their core, everybody who works within GHD is genuinely a good person who, who really cares about their workmates. Absolutely fantastic team in Darwin and I wouldn't trade it for the world. It's just a little bit different to what it was when I started. When I started with GHD, mm, 42 years, 11 months and 30 days ago, <laughs> there was about 450 people in GHD. Uh, over a hundred of those were typists, nearly 200 of them were tracers and drafters, and a few admin staff, and right down the bottom of the list were about 100 professional engineers. Uh, no such thing as a calculator. Uh, slide rules were the most sophisticated bit of equipment we had. Um, so yes, in these days things have changed a little bit. But as we've found out, sewage still runs, runs downhill and the GHD philosophy has stayed pretty much the same. Uh, definitely the size of the organisation. When I started we had about 500 people and now I'm up to almost 8,000. In um, Northern Territory I was, I was the only professional engineer, woman professional engineer when we started but now we have 11 women which is great and um, I believe more to come shortly. Um, the systems have Evolved. We do have access to the computers, to various programs which are enhancing our delivery of the project quality and timing. So it's always good to see how we can improve. The, we value the clients uh, the most and I'm proud to work for GHD. In the workplace, um, one of the most notable things is that people have changed from wearing shorts and long socks to long trousers. And even some wear ties, which I, I worry about. <coughs> um, improved communications. Um, move from radio telephones when doing jobs out in the bush to mobile phones now. Uh, and development uh, in 1983, I worked at Highway House and you couldn't buy your lunch. Uh, there was uh, no shops in Palmerston then, but look at it now, it's a city on its own. Sean made me an offer I couldn't refuse. <laughs> now seriously now, I saw this as an opportunity to continue some of the good work that was being done for developing the north. Um, and uh, gave me the opportunity also to be stay active in the engineering profession. Uh, also, uh, GEH and D is a long-standing consultant in the territory, and uh, they're highly respected within government, the private se sector, and in the community. Picking the pork out of my teeth. What's my favorite aspect about working at GHD? Um, the free chocolate in the kitchen? Yeah. It's not free. Are you serious? Yeah. Definitely not the coffee. Uh, the colour blue. I like, uh, I like working for a company that's got the colour blue in yeah, its logo. It's, it's very calm. I like working at GHD because it's Friday's on throng, so I can go there straight from Friday nights. <laughs>
Long as it's not nothing green, my dear. 